Welcome to Mossy Creek Vids. Today I went ahead and uploaded a uh, user's guide uh, for the air-cooled single-cylinder diesel engines that we often purchase off of eBay or Amazon. Um, I went ahead and just took uh, the little manual that came in the box um, and took pictures of it and posted it for you guys. There's, uh, there's nothing in this guidebook that I could find about copyright trademarks, uh, so I went ahead and decided to do it as a video. I couldn't find anything in here, so pretty sure it's just Chinese print and printings thrown into the box. So um, in the past, I'd also, I'd purchased one of these engines similar, and it actually came with a Chinese manual. I tried using the translator, and frankly, it's still, it was just okay at best. It, <laughs> there was a whole lot left to be desired to, to try to figure out what that manual was saying. Um, fortunately, this one came in English, um, so hopefully it'll help, uh, help answer some of those basic questions about these little engines. Um, this particular user's guide is for the uh, 168F, 168FD, 170FA, 173F, and the 176 engines. Um, now, I'm pretty sure that most of these engines have uh, multiple versions, so this is a real generic manual, so it, it actually may or may not really work exactly with your engine. So be warned, it may or may not be accurate, uh, but this is what was shipped in my box of the 168F uh, engine. So hopefully it'll help. At least it's a, a basic guideline, especially for some of those that did not get the manual to begin with or the manual was in Chinese. This will at least give a little better idea what's going on. Uh, now, I've laid the uh, video out. Uh, each page is going to last about five seconds. So hopefully that'll give you time to, to pause if you want to read that section a little more thoroughly. Um, I tried to make it as short as I could, uh, but still give you an opportunity to pause it. Um, uh, a couple slides over from uh, where you're seeing this right now is going to be the contents, and it'll show the number page, and I also put numbers on the bottom of each page. So I want to thank you guys again for watching my videos, and I really do hope that this helps some people out. Um, I wished my first engine would have came with a uh, English translated manual. It uh, had been pretty handy. So I really sure do appreciate it, and hope you guys enjoy. Thanks a lot.